this is a model that relates um, two predictor latent variables, alertness and stress, with performance in a software development task. I have three control variables here, GPA or grade point average, age, and uh, sex, male and female. And what I want to do is to add to this model a moderating uh, effect analysis uh, by including the variable experience in software development as a moderator of the effect of alertness on performance and stress on performance. So in order to do that I will go to the option moderating link options, create moderating link, click on this variable and on the link that is supposed to moderate. And I'll do the same thing for I'm sorry, I'll do the same thing for the other link between stress and performance. Now we'll close this model and I will run my analysis. So as we can see here, well let's look at the direct links first. The direct link between alertness and performance is significant. The direct link between stress and performance is also significant but negative. This one is positive. And the moderating link between experience and this link between alertness and performance is significant at the 0 0.05 level. And this moderating link is also significant at the 0 0.05 level. This one is negative and this one is positive. Being a negative moderating link means that as experience goes up, this link here goes up in value. So since it's a positive link, it becomes uh, I'm sorry, it, it uh, goes down in value. Since it is a positive link, it would tend towards zero or a negative effect. Uh, for this moderating effect here, it is positive and this link is negative. So since this is positive, it would mean that this value here would tend to increase as experience goes up. So it would go from negative since it is negative toward neutral or positive. And we can see that in the graphs. But first let me show you how uh, these moderating links are shown on tables. They are shown when we look here at the path coefficients and uh, respective p-values. We see that the moderating links are shown as products on tables. So this one refers to the moderating link of experience on alertness. This particular one here. Now when we go to the plots we see that, let's take a look, at this is a linear analysis, so let's take a look of, uh, at the moderating link of experience on uh, the effect of alertness on performance. This is the one here. So the link is, let's take a look there, the link is, the moderating link is negative. So it would increase that value. So when we look at the graphs, um, we see what happened here. So more experience. So this this graph shows uh, distribution of points and a plot um, for low experience. That, that is users that have low experience, and this one for high experience. Let's go back to the links again. So as you can see, it's a negative link. So you will tend to make this value here of the direct effect um, lower. And that's it, that is what happens. So when we look at the graph here, with low experience, the effect between alertness and performance is stronger than with high experience. In the effect is almost neutral. Now for this one, it's a little bit different, the graph. So let's 
go to the graph experience so remember recall that here the moderating effect is positive but the link is negative so what's happening is that since the moderating effect is positive it is making this curve go as it's making the coefficient which is negative go up in value so it uh, trends toward neutral or positive that's what happened here for low experience the effect between uh, the effect of stress on performance is very negative for users with high experience the effect of stress on performance tends toward neutral so this is how one conducts a moderating effects analysis using the software warp PLS and this concludes this demo